Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video is going to be a demo and review of the Pattern Beauty Collection by Tracy Ellis Ross. I'm going to show you guys me doing my hair in the bathroom my and give you guys my thoughts as the video plays. I look crazy right now, but you're here for the hair and not for my sleepy, half-sick face. So let's just roll the clips. <laughs> So starting off with the shampoo, the shampoo, I bought it in the travel or tester size. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get all full everything if they offer small options. And I don't really use that much shampoo compared to conditioner, you know? So I did get the small size shampoo and I wish I got the freaking big size shampoo. This shampoo was so good, you guys. Like, you know what salon care feels like? It felt like salon care, okay? It was silky, it was smooth on my hair, and it was also very moisturizing. And I love a good moisturizing shampoo, I'm sorry. I know people love to use clarifying shampoos to help pull out all the whatever, whatever out of their hair. I get it, but I love a good moisturizing shampoo and this is probably top five top three <laughs> shampoos I've ever used like and I rinsed it out and my hair was defined my curls were clumping together I said okay this is crazy let's let's just check out the conditioner now so I got the intense conditioner they have different levels on the site you can get a light one I think a medium one and an intense one don't quote me on that I think they offer three different options so I got the thickest the more intense for the thick thick coarse coarse hair on my head you understand you guys understand my logic when I put it on my hand it felt like normal whatever whatever and then when I applied it to my hair blown away I swear I swear <laughs> y'all I was blown away this stuff really does feel like salon care and it reminds me of when I did that video I think it was diva curl conditioner that I love so much it reminds me of how my hair just instantly softens up and acts a fool that's what it felt like it felt so 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 good so 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 good I can't so then I went in with the brush. This is the Pattern Beauty brush. This brush has way more bristles than I'm used to on a brush like this because I can't take them out. I tried to take them out and remove half of them. I had a really hard time trying to remove the bristles from the paddle portion, however you say it, because you can remove it for cleaning, she said. But I had a hard time trying to remove it. So I was like, you know, let me just try it out how it comes it has one two three four five six seven eight nine rows um and the bristles are just they're movable but they're a little bit harder than i would go for it reminds me of that blue brush that i use the curl keeper flexi brush where like you have to use it on a small section so i pulled out a very small section on my heavily conditioned hair and it did detangle the section. It took a little bit longer because I'm being very gentle and because the bristles aren't as movable as mom used to. But it did detangle and clump and yeah, it did its job, it did its job. I did get more shed hair or more breakage, either or, probably both, from that section because I really, really, really detangled it <laughs> with this brush. I would use this brush when I'm doing braids twists that are very small i would definitely not pull this brush out for a quick chunky twist out no 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 because it is very very dense and the what are they called bristles <laughs> are very close together i would have liked if she had a brush for looser hair and then a brush for a kinkier hair because I feel like the, sh the condition was perfect to have different levels for different hair, so, um, hair needs. The brush is a little bit too dense for my taste on a regular basis, but I will try it out. I'm going to do my hair right now and put it twist. So I'll use it for that and I'll see how I feel. But it does require more work and more detangling than I'm used to. So then I went in with the leave-in conditioner. And this probably, out of the three items, is my least favorite because it's a little bit too watery or a little bit too 
light for my personal taste. And also the texture reminds me of like a jelly, like a gel-like leave-in. If that makes sense, it's not very creamy. It's more like gelatinous in my personal opinion, but it does what it needs to do. I just would like to have a thicker um, leave-in, but we'll see. I'm gonna do my hair right now with Melon Hair Care and Wet Line, and we'll see how the twist comes out. Um, so yes, packaging. Packaging is A1. Packaging is so freaking cute, you guys. I was like, this is adorable on the pictures, right? Now when I seen it in person, it's like a silicone-y, smooth texture. It's really attractive, it's really cute, and it just like, I don't know, I really did like how the packaging looked, um, how everything feels. The ingredients seem pretty cool to me and what I like in products. You guys can definitely go ahead and check out their ingredients on their site if you want some more information on that. As I'm working the leave-in and filling my hair after it's been in my hair for like maybe like 15, 20 minutes now, leave a bit in my hair, it feels really soft. I feel like the leave-in has completely soaked into my strands and I like how my hair feels right now. It feels very soft. I'm lazy and I'm still making my room into my filming space. It's nowhere near ready. So I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror right now. I'm sorry for the tackiness of me looking every 10 seconds. I hate doing that. I never do that. Oh, see, it's so hard. Um, but that's where we are right now. See, like, I need to be very gentle. Yeah, no. I think for the kinky girls, this brush is just not what we need. I hope they do come out with a different brush. I think with the conditioner in the shower, it was thicker, my hair was wetter, so it was easier to get my hair detangled. But with the leave-in, it's lighter. My hair is a little, my hair is still wet very much so, but it's a little bit less wet. Oh, there we go, finally. Oof. So it takes some time to get it through there. But this is how we're looking. It does, like once you get it through, it feels awesome. But I know that I'm not gonna wanna do this all the time. If I can grab brushes that work faster and probably pull out less of my hair, if I'm being honest. Um, so there we have this section. It's all detangled and leave-end leave-in moisturized she offered some what you call it oils but y'all know I have so much oils here and I don't really be caring about oil like that like I literally have so many oils so I never really buy them when new brands launch oils so I'm using melanin hair care I'm gonna get about that much which is more than enough I could probably make two twists out of this section I find that melanin hair care does work well with whatever I use it with. So let me check for flakes. I think we're okay. You should always check for flakes on your hand first as opposed to on the actual hair. But y'all know I never do things right. Y'all know I never do things the right way. And this mosquito is back over here. Oh, this video is already in shambles and let me get close real quick, you can see the texture. I usually run the brush one more time. Let's see if I can, all right. Perfect. Look at the mosquito. And now I'm gonna be risky and I'm gonna add some gel. I haven't put gel and twist on in a long time. I stopped caring about definition like that, but we know it's possible, so let me just try it out. This is the wet line that I did a wash and go with um, a minute ago, but it's on my channel that's enough because you know we don't want no problems so I put about like a nickel size amount I'm just gonna put it on top of this section run it through it's probably a bomb wash and go but y'all know 
I'm going to bed. So I'm going to twist my hair and go to bed. <laughs> I'm not doing no wash and go right now. The section feels really soft though. It feels amazing. It feels really good. I feel like the products are working well together. This mosquito is really trying to play with me. Ugh. If any of y'all have some mosquito remedies, like, I don't know what you could tell me, but if you have it, <laughs> let me know because no, it's just not the play. Like nobody has time to be bit by mosquitoes. I got like five bites from this one big mosquito and he's still in here just like, oh, I'm coming for, okay, this is live mosquito talk. I'm sorry. I mean, let me stop. So <laughs> my hair feels really good, guys. It feels really, really nice together right now it's feeling good so I'm gonna do my hair and then I'll come back probably tomorrow night for the takedown yay I'm back I'm back putting videos up I know I'm supposed to have a Sunday Wednesday schedule and once I get my room set up and everything in my life order organized <laughs> I will be back to that but for right now, I'm trying to put content out that's relevant and at least once a week until I'm ready to like actually put out content, my regular schedule, okay? So bear with me, it's coming, okay? Um, I do, I'm, I'm still here, okay? Okay, see you guys in two seconds when my hair is dry. Hey guys, so it is like about two days later. I took my twist out in a rush this morning so I didn't get to film the takedown process but I it was humid and a little bit rainy today off and on and my twist out looks phenomenal for what it has gone through um I'm using my phone right now because I'm about to make up off and really just lay down and go to bed you know I'm still suffering with my sinus stuff situation but I wanted to come on here give it a little bit of like an update or a I guess a close it all tie it all in together um i mentioned earlier that the leave-in was a little bit too light for me or that it just wasn't as creamy as a, how i like my leave-ins to be but when i went to twist my hair after filming that portion the sections of my hair that i put away felt extremely like silky and smooth and i think that the leave-in took time to work in but once it actually worked in my hair felt extremely soft and I was actually really, really, really <laughs> impressed with how soft my hair felt. So honestly, going back on what I was saying earlier, I think I would actually spend my coins on all three products again. I do think you're going to get luxury, luxury quality products when you purchase that I really wish I had gotten the shampoo in a full size. I mean, it's not going anywhere her line's gonna be her line but i pick it up whenever i want so i just wanted to make sure that i kind of gave a recap that's the word i was looking for i gave a recap of what happened today and how my hair looked throughout the day it's really held up um and i'm just really happy i just think that the line is good i think it's really good um i'm sorry for the quality drop <laughs> for this ending but i didn't want to end the video on that note I actually ended up putting the brush down and I already offered it to my cousin. She has like type 3 hair and um, her hair is a lot thinner than mine. So I'm like, hey girl, I have a very nice brush for you. Come pick it up. Because I couldn't even get through the back corner, like a whole section of my hair without getting like irritated. So the brush is not for dense kinky hair. I do hope they come out with another brush because the quality of the brush like you can tell when things are quality compared to my Denman, you know what I'm saying? That brush is nice. So I would like to have a nice brush like that, a fancy schmancy brush like that. But that one wasn't for me and my texture, you feel me? But um, other than that, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy with what I tried the past two days. Um, I think that my hair looks great. I think I have a really good twist out. It feels amazing. Um yeah and i think for my hair to have lasted how it lasted in this weather 
I don't know. I don't know. I mentioned on Instagram and in my community feed post, but if you haven't seen it, I am doing a reacting to my subscribers hair style video. So if you want to be featured in that video and be entered to win, I'm going to have two winners in that video. DM me on Instagram or email me at contact at candykinks.com. And I will go ahead and put you in my video and react to your hairstyles. I'm not roasting anybody because who am I to roast? No, so my spirit, I'm not kind of person. But I do want to have um, a fun video. Any other video ideas, themes, requests, comment them down below because I'm almost ready to be back being consistent once I clean up my space <laughs> and finish living my life in a mess um while i'm moving so yeah well i moved already but while i'm unpacking still i'm still unpacking but thank you guys for watching i appreciate you isn't my definition crazy right now i think i found a little secret to keeping it like more defined but we're gonna get there i'll tell you when i retest it a few more times have a good night guys give me a video a thumbs up give me video a thumbs up you know what i'm trying to say because it really helps. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>